Last week, I showed you how to string together two fields using a basic worksheet function called concatenate. This week, we'll create a simple on-off toggle field where, when I check a box, some text pops into another field automatically. If I uncheck the box, the text goes away. Like all of WinTotal's integrated worksheet functions, this can save you time and make you more consistent from report to report. The example I'll use today is the public electricity field. If I check the box for public, I want OG&E, which is the abbreviation for Oklahoma Gas and Electric, to populate the description field to the right. Even the name of the function is easy for this example. It's IF, sometimes referred to as an IF-THEN statement. The IF function has three parts within its parentheses. You start with the IF condition, followed by what to do if it's true, followed by what to do if it's false. If it's X, do Y. If not, do Z. Let's build the worksheet. I start by linking down and labeling the public electricity checkbox. Notice that it comes down textually as an X. Then I create a labeled cell for the company name. Since I might want to change the name, I'll color code it as a variable. Now let's label and then build our function. Start off with equals if, then an open parenthesis, followed by the condition, which is if b2 equals x. Remember, since x is a piece of text, I need to put it in quotes. Follow that with a comma and the company name cell for what to do if it's true. Then finally another comma and two quotes to tell the worksheet to leave it blank if the answer is false. Don't forget to end the function with a closing parenthesis. You now have your simple on-off toggle. And as always, take a few minutes to think of an example of an on-off toggle you'd like to use in your workflow and add it to your ongoing worksheet. If there's a tip you'd like to see in future videos, feel free to send the idea to me in an email to training at allamode.com.